what's up everyone and this is here welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i would like to show you guys on how to update your nintendo switch offline to firmware 11.0.1 with using a custom firmware all right so if you guys are new here uh, today's video is a bit different since i usually make a gameplay video but today video i will not show you guys any of the gameplay video but i just show you guys a tutorial video on how to update the switch firmware offline by using a choi dgn x so first off you will need a hackable switch you need in order to follow this video so if you guys don't have a hackable switch you need you cannot follow this all right so here is my switch which is already have running the custom firmware um, and my firmware is still on 10.2.0 so when I go to the system settings here, as you guys can see, my current firmware is 10.2.0 with the atmospheres 0.14.4 and I'm using the emu RMC. So in this video, so uh, what I'm going to show you guys is how you guys update your switch emu RMC to another, to another firmware. So if you guys try to update your switch, do not update it via AAD Sysnan since if you guys update it via AAD Sysnan, it will cause a break somehow. Okay, so first off, what you need to do is you need to download two files, which is a firmware files. And then the other file you need to get is the Chargogen X. So this one is a homebrew, which will allow you guys to update your switch offline. Alright, so I will leave both links on the description box down below. So make sure you guys check the description box down below in order to download both of this file. Okay, so now what you want to do here is you need to create a new folder and then name uh, anything you like. So we we'll call this one as 11.0.1 firmware. Alright, so once you have renamed the new folder, now you need to extract all the files inside the firmware uh, zip files. Okay, so now go ahead and drag and drop it to the new folder that you just created on your desktop. So it's depend on where you guys create the folder on your PC. Alright, so now I already have extract all the files here. So as you can see, this is all the custom firmware file. Now once we have uh, moved the custom firmware, which is once we have extract the custom firmware file, we may delete the custom firmware uh, zip file. Okay, so now uh, we will have the one folder which is contain our firmware update and the other file is .nro which is the choice gen X. Alright, so now what you want to do here is you need to shut down your Nintendo Switch first. Now take off your micro SD card from your Nintendo Switch. Now go ahead and uh, connect it to your PC by using the memory card reader. Alright, so now once you have connected your Switch SD card to your PC, now as you can see this is my root of my micro SD card. Now what you want to do here is you need to copy the firmware file first. Drag and drop it to the root of your micro SD card. Alright so once once it's done, now what you want to do here is you need to go to the switch folders and then drag and drop the choicegenx.nro So if, if you guys download the choicegenx and it comes with the zip files, you need to extract it first to your desktop Alright, now go ahead and copy the choicegenx.nro to the switch folder and that is what we need for the microSTIC setup here Now once that is finished, go ahead and Disconnect your micro SD card from your PC. And now you need to connect it back to your Nintendo Switch. Alright, so now what you want to do here is you need to boot your Switch into the custom firmware. So I will use the RCM clip here in order to boot my Switch into the RCM mode. 
Okay, so now go ahead and launch our Nintendo Switch into the custom firmware. Alright, so I'll be using the Atmosphere's custom firmware, just like why I, I show you guys early of this video. Alright, once we have launched our Switch into the custom firmware, now we show you guys again my uh, Nintendo Switch is running the old firmware. So as you can see here, it tells you guys 10.2.0 with Atmosphere's 0.14.4. Uh, okay, so now go ahead and navigate to the album in order to launch the homebrew menu okay so now you for, you will see the trojan x once you have launched it executed all right so we are on the uh, we are the trojan x menu here now it's just as you guys can see on the very first here is the folder that we copy uh, which is which i copy to my root of my micro sd card so here is the firmware files now go ahead and tap the different my folder and you guys can find all of the a uh, lot of the ncf files contained inside the folder so now don't uh, do not press anything on the ncf files now what you want to do here is you need to tap to choose okay so as you can see right now uh, i will give you guys two options whether you guys want to update your firmware without the xfed support or with the XFED support as you can see on the right side here so now we'll choose with the XFED support since that my microSD card is using the XFED support uh, XFED format right so this may take a while okay so once that is done go ahead and tap to the select firmware now it starts to uh, scanning all the firmware files required in order to let it update offline all right so here's at the uh, panel here you guys can see there's the prevent fuse burning enable auto rcm so this is the auto rcm if you guys don't want to burn your fuses so you can turn this uh, on and if you guys don't care about your switch e fuses you can just turn the auto rcm on uh, i mean off all right so I will skip that for a while here. Now once we have confirmed that you want to update your switch, now go ahead and tap to the start installation here. And now it starts to update our switch firmware to the um, to our selected firmware, uh, which is 11.0.1. So you guys also can use these to downgrade your Nintendo Switch and before you guys proceed it, make sure you guys have created a full NAND backup in order to you guys, uh, if you guys want to downgrade your Nintendo Switch to a certain firmware. Alright, so uh, again I remind you guys, uh, please do this at your own risk, I will not uh, taking any responsibility if you guys break your Nintendo Switch. Alright, so once that is finished, now go ahead and tap to reboot. And you guys can choose either you want to reboot your switch now, shut down it completely, or uh, cancel all of the uh, two options here. So go ahead and tap to reboot now. Alright, so I'm using the Atmosphere's 0.14.4, so let's see uh, if. Uh, if 11.0.1 can use the uh, the atmosphere 0.14.4 so uh, it looks like I need to update my custom firmware first in order to launch the custom firmware all right so now I will remove my micro SD card and then I will try to launch it with using the custom firmware so I will install the custom firmware first and then we will back again after this all right so i already have uh update my custom firmware so if you guys want to know how to install a custom firmware or update your custom firmware so please do watch my other video uh, which is i will do the custom firmware part so make sure you guys check the links down below in order to watch my other tutorials videos and uh, now when i boot my switch to the custom firmware here
all right so now when i go to the system settings and go to system now you guys can see that my switch successfully updated to 11.0.1 and i'm using the latest atmospheres which is 17.1 as you can see there Alright, so that's it for this video and if you guys have did enjoy this video please do leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to help me to reach 10k subscribers this year and uh, for those of you guys that already have subscribed to my youtube channel thank you very much for your subscribe i really appreciate it so see you guys on the next upcoming videos goodbye everyone